It's now time for the morning show on XL7 TV. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the morning show on XL7 TV. I am David Stroud here with Scooter Scott Callies. Whoop, whoop. How Good are you morning. this morning? I'm wonderful. Good I'm morning. wonderful. It seems like it's been forever. We, we, we end the week, and your your last time you're on is Thursday, and yes. then it's all the way to Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's got the weekend in there, and it just seems like it's been forever. So, how are you doing, David? Real good. Went to Rika Springs this weekend for Carla's birthday. All right. That was excellent. Good fun. They had the St. Patrick's Day parade on Saturday, even though it was Friday, but. They had it on Saturday, so she was really excited to see that. I've been like to Eureka. I've never stayed the night and really explored it. It's pretty cool. Is it? It's a lot of stairs. A lot of stairs. Okay. Hills. Well, that'll be good on the knee. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, hers too. Especially going downstairs. She's like, I wish you could hear my knees cracking. Cracker, crack, crack. Well, I don't know. I can't do it. But yeah. Aren't they supposed to have the, like the haunted hotel over there? Yeah. I mean... The basin is where we stayed, right there on the main strip, and mm -hmm. it supposedly is haunted. The third floor, which we were on, I think the room did anything happen. Maybe our room, three hundred nine. No, but it was hard to sleep. It's always hard to sleep in a hotel. Yeah, that's so, true. I mean, if you stay multiple days, probably by like the third day you feel acclimated. I don't know about you, but the first day or two, you just can't sleep. It's not like home. No. So. It's there. Trust me, I do a lot of traveling, and there's none of them that are just like home. So it's yeah. just you're not at home. Yeah, is Yeah. So you gotta have box any, fan. You didn't get any hauntings, huh? No, she read. She googled it and read that our room. Uh, the story was somebody woke up at four o'clock in the morning to a six foot tall person, man. They believe was standing there, but didn't say anything, didn't do anything, and then disappeared. And oh. there was a, there was an item missing from the room that he thought he packed. He swore it was the last thing he packed in his bag, and it was missing. And then while he was he there, he got it. a got a ring, and he he put the ring on um, the nightstand. And when he woke up the next morning, the ring was gone. And then it got weirder after that because it it read like he went home. And he was like, you know, I really wish I had that ring back, uh, like saying it out loud. And the next thing you know, he's walking down the hallway and the ring's on the floor. Mm. There's a lot you can chalk that up to. Yeah. I don't know what's, if I believe what's the, it. What's the main? There's one there that's like. Oh, the big one. Um, yeah. Oh, I knew you were going to ask me that. And I was sitting there trying to think of it as I was talking at the same time see that's where i want to go and uh, i want to stay in that whatever room now you're, you're gonna make me do this here hang on it's a, it's all right we've got a no show no, to no. Do. that's all okay right. it's all hotel right. in eureka springs now you can't even remember it mm -mm. crescent hotel yes i knew i yes, could find that's it quickly the one. They, they're on hold it's okay the crescent hotel is the next place we want to stay now that one has a history of some a violent history yes. uh, with a doctor that was uh, accepting cancer patients and telling their loved ones, oh, they're getting better, they're getting better, and they weren't getting better, they were actually getting worse, and then dying, oh, I, I don't know, they were getting better, and then they didn't make it. So we so yeah, that'd be my kind of place. Yeah. I like that. We did a that'd haunted tour. We didn't stay there, but we did a group haunted tour got to go in the areas you don't normally get to go to and it was pretty cool didn't see anything didn't feel anything um i don't hmm. know i guess i'm not special slacker they don't want to talk to me they're like no not dave he one doesn't. of these days i'm going there though yes it would be fun it would be fun we ought to go I, as a group i think we should yes that would be cool I'm, I'm get a couple that. rooms stay stay the weekend man let's you gotta get the main room too I know. I don't remember what room it is, but there we can is. Look it up. It'll, there is. Yeah. There is There's a room one. that they. They just probably about charge everybody. three times as much to stay there just for the gimmick. <laughs> just for the the special effects they do. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
Yeah, they got all the tech inside there, the silhouette of the ghost. It's going to scare the crud out of my wife, but I'm going <laughs> to love every second of it. I know, right? Probably scare me, too. I don't I don't play with no ghost. Uh, I ain't got a proton they pack. Don't, they don't scare me. <laughs> no, until they throw you out a window. What? Well, then they not be scared. All right, we got a show today. <laughs> Welcome to the morning show. Welcome. That's that's it. <laughs> that's it. We're done. We'll see you tomorrow. Now. We'll see you tomorrow. We appreciate you watching. Hello, Gigi. <laughs> Hello, good morning, Gigi. Gigi. Good morning, Gigi. All right. I know she's watching, so I got to tell her good morning. Yes. Hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, most definitely. It's, oh, yes. It looks like a lot of rain today. And it's gonna. I mean, this is like our high. Yeah. It's going down from here. Mm-hmm. Don't say that. Going downhill not, from here. It, no, it's no. Because the next thing you say, it's kind of like going six feet under. Oh, downhill. You see it? There we go. You see what he did? All right. With that, the morning prayer. Roller funeral <laughs> home. With all our respect, they have 29 in the state, one in Memphis, Tennessee. We sure do appreciate them and our time in need when we lose a loved one. It's a, it's a, it's just a fact of life, and I hate it, but we're, none of us are getting out of here alive, so we need people like Roller Funeral Home. They take care of us in, in our worst possible time um, when we lose somebody that we love. So with that, let's pause now for the morning prayer. Dear Lord, please watch over this country. Please watch over our, our town here, the Ozarks. It's a beautiful place to live. Um, we know we have a lot of true believers. Uh, we, but we want you to go after that one, leave the 99 and, and bring in that one uh, that maybe is on the fence about about you, Lord, and they really could use you. Uh, watch over the homeless uh, that need a place to stay, especially with this bad weather that, you know, comes and goes. Uh, watch over our children, our first responders, and the, our military, those that put themselves in harm's way for our freedoms. We sure do appreciate everything you've done for us in this country and around the world. But we could use you more, and I know it takes us believing. So this is me hoping that uh, more and more people believe than not. And this I pray, amen. Amen. Roller Funeral Home, with all our respect, give them a call and ask them about pre-need service, uh, 870-425-2161. It's always good to have a plan in place when the unthinkable happens. Uh, have your family taken care of. Let them know exactly what you want to have done. Man and Scooter have talked about this. I, I, I want to be cremated. I want my family to take my ashes to somewhere beautiful. Mountaintop, beautiful view, lake, river, it doesn't matter. Just somewhere matter that, that they, would, uh, they would enjoy being while they're going to visit me. Because that's, you know, you have a, a, a plot in a cemetery. That's They go to visit you. They sit and talk. And, uh, and see you, and I, I want mine to be just a majestic view. Uh, very, I like that. You know, and uh, maybe at the river uh, where they can go kayaking. They go to the spot where they put me uh, as a day, uh, day trip. They stop and, you know, have a little lunch and say hello and, and then move on. You know, that's, that's my plan. So it's good to have a plan like that. Mine's easy enough for a roller funeral home is just cremate me, give them my ashes. And let them do uh, as they please. I like it. Yeah. All right. Let's take a little break for Bob and Linda's door of the Z Team. Well, folks, have you ever been trout fishing before? Not since I was a little oh. kid. You'll do fine. Hey, hey, hey what, wait. what are you doing? Aren't you coming along? See you down river. How do you start this motor? I've never been in a boat before. See you down river. Well, folks, uh, have you sold a house before? Yeah, about 30 years ago. Yeah. Oh, well, you'll be okay then. You sure? Where are you going? going? See you at the closing. Hey! hey. At the closing. We, we should call the Z Team. Welcome back to the morning show. And mm -hmm. Bob and Linda is the door of the Z Team. That commercial gets me every time. Very good. I they, love it. They will not leave you hanging. I love it. <laughs> it was fun to do. Yeah. Fun to watch. I, I wish I could have been there for the, uh, the bloopers, the outtakes. I, 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 I do need to put that together sometime. Yeah, one day. One day. No, no time soon. So No. We'll just keep saying. No, I got other stuff working up. <laughs> Give it up. Give Bob and Linda Zadora a call if you're looking to buy or sell a home. 870-405-0793. Let's take a look at the White River brought to you by the Z Team. 
It's gray. It's uh, is it always going to be gray for us in the mornings? Probably yeah. till till the time because it changes a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Until yeah. Okay. Because well, at nighttime it has that specific camera goes to this mode and then it'll yeah. transition as the light comes in. But well, that's all right. It's, the it's, other it's, camera it's very is very ominous. It's color. There we go. Yeah, I like the uh, the zoom around camera. I'll call it the zoomer. There we go. Beautiful color, Arkansas, the horseshoe bend of the White River. They're in Mary County looking into Baxter County. And these are 24-7 uh, on their website, retiredarkansas.net. And if you've never been to Cotter, you should take a little trip. Look how green it's getting. Oh, yeah. I love it. Look how much water. Spring is here. Yeah, they're still generating all six. Uh, I, you know, I know I'm supposed to say that later on in the show, but... They, you can see that it's up. They're just trying to get them lakes at a good level. and Which and I'm we, grateful for. Yes, we hope that they can keep going and make sure that it's not flooded in our camping areas because we have beautiful camping areas around here. Uh, we want to bring, we, you know, it attracts people. We want to bring them in. And they might just decide to move here. And if they do, guess who they need to call? Z-Team. Exactly. Bob and Linda is the door of the Z-Team. And looking to buy or sell a home, you can give them a call at 870-405-0793. If you live in the area and you're looking to downsize, they're a senior real estate specialist. Uh, you know, you got that big house, the kids have moved away, it's time to get something a little bit more manageable. Maybe even move back with family, and they can help you with that. Get rid of that big home, find something in town a little bit smaller. Uh, who knows, maybe in Cotter, Arkansas, maybe there's something small there. Uh, they have a nice, uh, nice neighborhoods. Uh, uh, people have been kept moving in there, and and I call it up and coming because you know after a while, it, a lot of tourism now. A lot of tourism, it. some I Airbnbs. Like uh, you have people that are coming for the world-renowned fishing on the White River. Look, you got a boat moving out right now. They're gonna yeah, stay safe. I hope. Short. I hope they're wearing their life vest because. Uh, that, that water is moving exactly and uh it, it, i don't care how strong you are how strong of a swimmer you are that current will take you down so it's always good to have if you don't have it on have it right next to you sitting ready that you can just grab it and don't worry about anything else if you go falling out of the boat you grab that that life vest anyways give bob and linda's a door a call 870-405-0793 Go to their website at retiredarkansas.net where you can find their listings, the MLS listings, and a plethora of information about the Ozarks. Uh, whether you're just wanting to visit or move here, they have all kinds of videos, good information. And like I said, these camera views are 24-7. The Zoomer likes to move around, zoom in and out. Uh, I like it when it goes to the rail yard, Scooter Mountain, and David's Island. <laughs> All right. <laughs> those are my favorite. Those, those are my favorite spots. Uh, it's amazing how get, far this camera was. I get a mountain out in Missouri. He gets an island. Okay. Yeah. You get a You get a whole mountain. No, I get I this know. little tiny island surrounded by water. <laughs> I can't even get to it. I don't have a boat for the river. Well, my brother's got a boat for the river. I can get to it. I got, a, I got a river boat. We'll take you out there one time. Let you see your island. Yeah. I just want to go explore. Maybe I find some arrowheads. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Probably find some old cans from 1965 or something. There Who you knows? go. There you, you, never, go. you never know. <laughs> All right, we better take a look at the weather. You see what time it is? Dave's I know. always rolling over. You're always rolling over. Always rolling over. Let's see here. We have Mountain Home is at 43, Harrison at 41, Batesville at 43, Yellville at 43, Marshall at 41, Salem at 42, Mountain View at 41, Calico Rock at 43, West Plains, Missouri at 42, Springfield at 42, Popular Buff at 43, and St. Louis, Missouri at 40. It's pretty, it's the 40s, low 40s today. It's the 40s day and the rainy day. And as you can see here on the National Weather Radar, we have some activity across Missouri and Arkansas. It looks like we're in uh, a little lull around nine o'clock, but then by 10, it's rolling in and it's gonna be here most of the day. So make sure and bring a rain jacket. I don't think I'm wrong on this one. Do Are you, you sure? Do you, Scooter? Uh, I, mean, I don't know about that. You can see the rest of the country across California has some heavy activity. Uh, north uh, Montana, or in the north in Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, they've got some 
snow activity. But look at this across Missouri and Arkansas. It ain't going to miss us. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. So bring an umbrella, bring a rain jacket, uh, or just stay indoors until it passes. It looks like in the afternoon, boom, by 1 o'clock, it, it's going to, what, probably 2 or 3 o'clock dissipate. Maybe. I don't know. Watches and warnings across the state look pretty good. Looks like the southeast part of Missouri, the Boot Hill, has, it's kind of a, is that a flood advisory? It, it, it doesn't look like that green. It's always getting me. Hydraulic? Hydraulic outlook. It looks like that green, doesn't it? Kind of does. I don't know what hydraulic means. outlook means. That's the first for me. Huh. I have let's to just, look that up. Let's just... Well, it's going to take We ain't got time. Ah, You're already over. Seven-day forecast today. Showers, 90%. High of 48. Tonight, chance of showers at 40%, low of 44. Wednesday, mostly cloudy. High of 73. Wednesday night, cloudy and breezy. Low of 63. Thursday, 20% chance of showers to 60 through the night, breezy, slight chance, uh, thunder, thunderstorms, high of 73, Thursday night, 90% chance of showers and breezy, low of 54, Friday, 70% chance of showers, high of 65, Friday night, 20% chance of showers, low of 43, Saturday, mostly sunny, high of 65. Norfolk Lake water levels at 552.42, level is 5.4 feet above full pool there, Generating none right now. Norfolk Lake water level is at 665.60. Level is 6.60 feet above full pool. They are generating six. That is a look at your weather brought to you by the Z team, Bob and Linda Zadora. I could be wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that out there. Appreciate that. <laughs> Should we take a short break and come back with some community news by oh. Mower Warehouse? We'll be right back. All right. Hi, Brett, Fritz, and Paisley here at Mower Warehouse on Buzzard Roost Road. We sell Ferris Zero Turn mowers that have patented cool spring suspension. Mower Warehouse has the largest selection of Ferris Zero Turn mowers in stock. Zero percent financing available. We buy, sell, trade new and used mowers. Mower Warehouse also services all brands of mowers. We offer free delivery. Come see us for all your mower needs. That's Mower Warehouse on Buzzard Roost Road in Mountain Home, where your business is appreciated. Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. Mower Warehouse is our new sponsor for community news. And in our community, third annual community spring bash at the Impact Faith Church. They're at 940 East 9th Street, Mountain Home. They have free lunch, free popcorn, free cotton candy, free fun. That'll be March 25th from 11 to 3 p.m. So you want to check that out. The NRA, oh. Friends of the NRA, the Future of Freedom, are having an annual fundraising banquet Tuesday, April 18th from 5.30 p.m. the Baxter County Fairgrounds. If you need tickets, you can call Dan at 870-421-2322 or Joanna at 870-424-3535. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Dinner, auctions, guns, raffles, and family Fun while supporting shooting sports and ensuring the survival of the Second Amendment traditions for generations to come. So, I want to check that out. And, I, you know, we wanted to Hold on, dive real in. quick, I got one real oh, quick. The one. Baxter County Board of Election Commission Commissioners are seeking uh, county residents and may be interested in being a poll worker for the county elections. For more information, yeah. as well for qualifications, requirements, to be in a poll worker, you can call 870-580-1060. So give them a call if you're interested. And would, you want, would you want to be a poll worker? It wouldn't bother me. Yeah, I don't think it would bother me either. It wouldn't it's bother gotta be me neat. Either. Help people out. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't bother me. No. Mower Warehouse of Mountain Home, Arkansas. I want to pull up their website and just kind of dive into them a minute. They have mountainhomemowerrepair.com is their official website. You can see here the products is zero terms, riding mowers, push mowers, chainsaws, blowers, brush cutters, edgers, hedge trimmers, snow blowers, sprayers, trimmers, leaf blowers, mower batteries, mower belts, pulleys, spindles, parts. They are on-site, full-service, small engine repair here in Mountain Home. 
and we're gonna just... if you haven't been there they have got mowers galore everywhere yeah, inside outside up on big old racks they're they got anything and everything that you're looking mm-hmm. for uh they also got the ferris mowers which got that independent spring suspension that is just awesome ride. yes definitely. awesome ride but they carry everything parts mm-hmm. um there's that big rack i was talking right. about right i'll bring in the crane <laughs> there you go <laughs> Big old rack. Let's show them where they're located. So right here off Buzzard Roost Road and Full Bite Full Bright Drive, just off the by, bypass. I'm sure everybody knows Buzzard Roost Cutoff that runs down by Walmart. So you can turn down there, come down to Buzzard Roost, and there they are. Oh, scroll. I, I always forget to do that. But they carry full line of parts in stock. Mm-hmm. They do all service work no matter what brand. They just one-stop shop. One-stop shop. Mower Warehouse. Go by there for all your mowing needs. And we're coming into spring, so it's about that time. You go check them out. I thank them for sponsoring the community news. Most definitely. That's awesome. If I wasn't so long-winded, I'd probably have a little bit more. But let's go ahead and take a break, and we're going to come back with Spencer Adcock, the athletic director of ASU Mountain Home. It's a matter of taste, and at Brick Oven Pizza Company in Mountain Home, delicious taste is all you will find. Enjoy signature-crafted pizzas and appetizers, as well as oven-baked sandwiches, quesadillas, salads, pastas, and desserts. When it comes time to relax or meet up with friends, Brick Oven Pizza has you covered. Handmade cocktails and ice-cold beer are always available at their fully stocked bar. No time to dine in? No problem. Call in your order and use Brick Oven's convenient drive through window for all your to-go orders. It's a matter of taste at Brick Oven Pizza Company in Mountain Home. Have you ever noticed every time you wash your car, you end up wetter than the actual car? Next time, run down to Car Care and let the friendly staff put a smile on your face. Car Care of Mountain Home has a variety of services to clean your vehicle's needs, inside and out. From a simple wash and shine to their outstanding detail services. Located 1525 Highway 62 East in Mountain Home. Stop by Car Care of Mountain Home today because driving a clean car always makes you feel good. At Connor Family Funeral Home, our goal is to provide our friends and neighbors with caring, compassionate services at an affordable price. Connor Family is a full-service funeral home that offers a wide range of services to meet your family's needs and customs. We are the first on-site crematory in the area and provide many options to memorialize your loved ones and address all the details for a more personalized service. Where compassion and affordability meet, Connor Family Funeral Home in Mountain Home. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, it's our desire that you think about finding a way to live your life to the fullest while living with a serious illness. If you ever need help and support, we provide a team of healthcare professionals and volunteers that will support your physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of life while doing the same for your family and caregivers in the comfort of your own home or wherever you call home. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, We hope that you grant us permission to walk on the journey with you. Your not-for-profit option since 1979. When you're out of town, make sure your pet is with someone who will love them as much as you do. At 201 Pet Salon and Resort, your pet is cared for just as they would be at home. 201 Pet Salon and Resort is the only all-sweet climate-controlled and air-filtered boarding facility in the area with private and spacious rooms to keep your pet relaxed. And with over three-quarters of an acre of fence play area, your pet will receive the proper exercise they deserve. 201 also offers professional grooming services. Your best friend is in good hands at 201 Pet Salon and Resort in Mountain Home. All you've ever wanted was a place to write your story. You hear it's not the right time to buy or sell a house, but really, the best time is when it's right for you. The real estate markets, they change, they go up, they go down. One thing that doesn't change is where you want to be in your life. The professionals you team up with will make your story happen. The Z Team are the professionals you need to hire for your next chapter. So call the Z Team at 870-405-0793, Century 21 Lemac Realty, 1024 Highway 62 East, retiredtoarkansas.net. Are you... Welcome back to the Morning Show on XL7 TV. Our guest is Spencer, Coach Spencer Adcock, Athletic Director of ASU Mountain Home and also the Head Baseball Coach. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm fantastic. How are you this morning? Very good. You guys have quite the season going. Yeah, it's been it's been a it, it's it's been a start. Yeah. It's been a start. Yeah. There's been some good. There's been some bad. There's I mean, it's just just like any other baseball season. 
definitely. Well, you had a uh, Trailblazer auction. I guess maybe we'll call it maybe the first annual Trailblazer yeah, auction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, you know, putting this together, as you know, we started in uh, the middle of July. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the fundraising is a, is a huge part of all this to make, to make this engine go. And, and that was that was one of our attempts to to go out and raise money to help fund the help fund the program um you know everything from travel to food to i mean you know it, logistically it takes a lot mm-hmm. to to get to move these guys you know and and girls and um <clears throat> and so you know a lot of people don't realize it takes laundry detergent it takes you know it 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 takes a washer and dryer yeah. it takes all you know it <laughs> You know, gas in the bus, bus drivers, mm-hmm. um, and so, and a lot of times these assistant coaches are working for next to nothing, and so you know to make sure that we can fund it, and um, and so that's that that's our attempt to to ask the community for help, and um, and it was good. I think we raised around thirty two thousand. Is that the number? Thirty two thousand yeah. eight hundred and ninety dollars. That's yeah. a, that's a testament to our community yeah. too. Oh man, that's I I couldn't ask. For a better for a better community this is this is i mean ever since we've gotten here um i mean it's been the the community help has been has been amazing for these guys and girls and and this program and i think it's just going to get i think it's just going to continue to get better i think it will you know i think i think um show like sustaining some success and you know and give you know give people some some excitement yeah um, I think it'll get even better, um, you know. And that that was only in I think that was six days. I think that ran. I right. Think, I think that ran for six days. Um, I wish I had a list of everybody who uh, of everybody who donated. Um, you know, we we had a lot of really cool items on there. Mm-hmm. That people you had a couple donated. of cars. Yeah, a, yeah. Chevrolet Silverado, the three quarter ton. Yeah, yeah. There was a uh, one of the um, one of the I. I I don't want to try to. I don't want to try to <laughs> say who who donated everything. Just because I, know, I don't right. want to leave anybody you out. Don't leave anybody out. We do um, appreciate everybody that did. Right. I understand what um, you're saying. But but yeah, we had a we had the the Chevrolet, and then mm-hmm. um, and then our technical center had a few cars in there that they donated to help raise some money for for um, um, for their program out there. So that you know part of that thirty two thousand gets to go to them a little bit. And, okay. And so it's you know that but that's o that's that's overall just helping out the athletic program and you know that's awesome couldn't ask for couldn't ask for more. You had a you had a few vehicles. Yep. You had an O six Dodge Grand Caravan, a two thousand Chevrolet Venture, a two thousand six Mitsubishi Eclipse, a nineteen eighty nine Ford Ranger, a nineteen fifty two GMC pickup truck, the two thousand Chevrolet Chevrolet Silverado Extended Cab. Uh, I mean, people I think, donating cars. That's well, I think, I think the I think the I think uh, uh, quite a few of those were some some work, you know, some cars to work on and stuff that the technical sure. center had and stuff okay. like that. You know, and they were trying to, you know, I think I think they were trying to get get rid of some stuff. And, yeah, yeah. You know, and you know, that's okay. I mean, there was a. That I, I think you said there was like a '59 Ford on there or something like that. Yeah, 1952 GMC pickup. Yeah, I, I mean by the I, ASU MH Tech Center. I don't I don't have it, but I'll bet that I'll bet that one brought a little bit of money. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> Even no if doubt. that was just the shell. Right. So. Just yeah, just to have the shell would be worth it. Right. I don't know if uh, yeah all the. Uh, I think maybe the information browse items. I don't know if it's still there. Yeah. Oh, it does so sold. Let's see if we can find that real quick. But that, that definitely is a testament to Mountain Home, Arkansas. Uh, 1952 GMC pickup truck sold for two thousand and fifty dollars. No. So look mm. at that. That's pretty cool. And you see the other things. Yeah, I guess the cars needed a little bit of work, but it was still it brought money. And uh, brought some good money in. Ten thousand dollars for that Silverado That's extended right. cab. That's right. Ten thousand dollars. For the total of thirty two thousand eight hundred and ninety dollars. Yeah. That is so awesome. And oh. that's that's Mountain Home, Arkansas. Well, that's, I mean that's the Ozarks. Uh, that that couldn't have happened without with without Molly Morgan. Molly Morgan put a uh, put her whole her, her heart and soul into mm-hmm. that and yeah. And, you know, for I feel like it's been a couple months now she's been trying she's been, been working really hard on um on getting that auction off the ground and mm-hmm. 
and we just we couldn't we couldn't be more proud for for her and then what and then what it uh how much it raised uh, to help our guys and girls yeah very good well and it's helping them go to all these games uh one particular game i wanted to bring up was the asu mountain home and henderson state game yep and that makes history for the asu uh, system schools because it's the first time that they've ever squared off against each other yep that's pretty cool that yeah that is pretty cool we uh coach uh coach alan hall and co- and head coach cody hooten down in henderson state alan's assistant and cody is the uh is the head coach down there we we've been close friends for a long time and and i we got down there we we're warming up and taking bat in practice and i walked over there to shake their hand and stuff and they said hey what's going on and uh, i said what do you mean well he turned around. He said his chan- you know, his chancellor was there, and his his um, you know there some uh, ASU system office uh, um, personnel was there, and he and he's like, this isn't just a regular game, no. like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was, uh, you know, we uh, we go down there, and it's you know. At, at that point, they want to, you know, they, they want to show off. They want to show off. Yeah. They don't want us to show off. Yeah. And so it, it, it became a little bit more of a, mm-hmm. well, it, well, it became a pretty competitive game here very quickly. And uh, they took one from us. I think it mm-hmm. was seven to four, seven to three. Seven then, to three. Yeah. They, they took the first game. And then I think we won We won the second one. Yeah, you won the second one at three to one. No. Yep. Uh, so hey, at to- it basically a draw, right? <laughs> Until next time. Hey, we got the last one. That's you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does the how does the divisions work with college? Uh, what division are you in? So we are Division Two Junior College. So the the way to break it all down, you've got Division One NCAA. Um, that is your Arkansas, Arkansas State, UCA, Arkansas Pine Bluff, and UALR. Um, those are the Division One schools here in the state, and then you've got Division Two NCAA. Um, that's going to be your Hardings. That's going to be your Arkansas Fort Smith, Arkansas Tech, Southern Arkansas, Arkansas Monticello, Henderson State, a Washita Baptist. Um, um, I'm trying to think if I'm missing any. I believe that's all of the Division Twos, um, and then you've got Division Three. Mm-hmm. Which now Lion just switched over from NAI to Division Three. Okay. Um, and then you've got University of the Ozarks in Clarksville, and you've got Hen- Hendrix in Conway, and then you've got your NAI schools, and that would be like um, Central Baptist College, CBC in Conway, Williams Baptist, Crowley's well, Ridge, Baptist, yeah, uh, Crowley's Ridge. You've got. Um, Arkansas Baptist, Philander Smith now is a new a, a first year program this year. Um, um, there's there's more of them that uh, the um, Ecclesia College in Springdale, uh, Champion Christian College in Hot Springs. Um, I believe that's I believe that's most of the I believe that's the NAIA schools, and then you've got all the junior colleges. So we're in the we're in the junior college conference of region two and then region two division two and it's us university of arkansas rich mountain south arkansas um in el dorado we've got um we've got sau tech in camden um national park in hot springs and believe and then a- ASU Three Rivers in mm-hmm. Malvern just came online, and then there's a couple other ones coming online the next next year. Or so, I think I mean you're going to see in the state of Arkansas, you're going to see junior colleges pop up everywhere. I yeah. mean, it's you know it's kind of proven to be successful, and you know it's nobody wants to get left behind, and and I think you're going to see them pop up. All you know, I, I think you're going to see you know in the next five, six, seven years, you'll see another four, five, or six of them pop up throughout the state. And, That'll be a big know. division then. Yeah, the two yeah. Junior colleges. Yeah, um, you know, right now what they're doing, we're, we share with Oklahoma. Um, this next year we're splitting conferences. It's going to be Arkansas Conference. It's going to be an Arkansas Conference and an Oklahoma Conference, and then mm-hmm. we'll play we'll play into the tournament there at the, at, the, uh, at the end of the season. Is that because they're growing? Yeah. 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 And so um, – 
travel, you know, we're traveling down to Camden. I, you know, it, sometimes I look up north and I'm like, I'm like, it's a little bit easier to get to uh, Union, Missouri, than it is to uh, Camden, Arkansas, no doubt. or Mena, Arkansas. But. Yeah. Oh, especially Mena, yeah, yeah, most definitely. So, so it yeah. goes by school size to the division. Uh, no, mostly, no, because the region seems like. I mean, you got all the way to El Dorado. Yeah, it's a south, and we're as north. Really, so. it's you know, you make a bid to to enter, and then yeah. the the region has to accept you, and then, um, and then once once that's the case, it's it's really by by support of how like you, we can go in there and we could say, hey, we want to be Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three junior college. Mm-hmm. The difference is in Division Three junior college, uh, it's like North Ark is Division Three junior college. They um, at Division Three, you cannot give any athletic scholarship. You can't give any athletic oh, wow. aid at all at Division Three junior college. Division Two junior college, we can give up to books, tuition, and fees, but we cannot offer housing or meal plans. Okay, all right. In Division One Junior College, you can cover everything. Okay. And so, and you're allotted 24, um, you know, the uh, you're allotted 24 letters of intent. Um, you know, at a place like North Ark, you can sign that. They, they they get those letters of intent. Yeah. But they've, you know, they're not allowed to provide aid, and so that just, you know, that binds you to that school, but not with with no, with no um, institutional aid. Um, for us, we could, let's say we fund, you know, let, let's say our, our school gives us a little bit of money mm-hmm. and then we, we can go fundraise the rest of that money and we can have up to 20, 24, what we would call a full scholarship would be books, tuition and fees. Okay. And then so on and so forth, you know, in the, in the future, I would love to have the support, you know, the, the fundraising support and the the support you know the you know with dorms and and a, ca- a cafeteria Definitely. and all that yeah. stuff that would be that would be amazing because then we could make that jump to division one and you know that that's a that's a much bigger you know there I, I've coached in that conference before in the in that division and it's it's a lot that it's a lot tougher. Mm-hmm. But you can you can really you you can you can really help some kids out at, sure. at that level, and you can help some kids out at every, at every level. Um, but you know, I'd I'd love to see you know, I'd love to see us be one of the be the first program to go play. To, you know, to that would be cool. Junior college, yeah, um, yeah. You know, and and that 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 may or may not happen, but I'd love to see that. And um, you know, but again, that comes back to most of these schools don't have money just flowing out where they can yeah you know you look at a you look at at crowder and they might have 24 scholarships and they might have 24 full scholarships um but i'll bet their school's not giving them 24 scholarships they're they're having to sub subsidize that with fundraising with yeah. and that's where these auctions come in that's mm-hmm. where the uh, apparel sales come in that's where all i mean you know that's where all this stuff comes in and and i think a lot of high school kids and parents may not realize that coming out of high school is is you know that's all of that stuff is is kind of built into the program yeah very good it's seven thirty-eight. let's go ahead and take a break and we'll come back with more from coach spencer adcock of the asu mountain home uh athletic director Are you looking for the best barbecue in two states? Holy smokes. Want the meatiest fall off the bone ribs? Holy smokes. The most tender and delicious pulled pork? Holy smokes. The tastiest brisket in the Ozarks? Holy smokes. Holy smokes barbecue and catering is the only place you need to go. Dine in, carry out, and the best food for your next catered event. Holy smokes. We're your mountain home for great barbecue cooking. Holy smokes. A higher calling for your taste buds. Jim Brown Company keeps you cool when it's hot and warm when it's not. A trusted name in the mountain home community, Jim Brown Company provides timely heating and cooling installation and repairs. Our certified technicians incorporate new technology on every job to provide you with the most advanced services. At our metal fabrication shop, we handle projects big and small. We've created everything from commercial ducts to custom designs. I'd recommend Jim Brown Company to my friends and neighbors 
The reason being they have high-tech equipment, their service techs are well qualified for the job that they do, and they also send me a report after all the work is done so I know exactly what my unit's doing. By visiting our showroom, you can learn all about our heating and cooling products. We'll educate you on your options and help you decide on the right solution. For total comfort at your home or business, choose Jim Brown Company. Quality service with a family name since 1964. Diatli Dental Care is a family-owned dental practice. Doctors Irvin and Christina Diatli grew up in the Twin Lakes area and are proud to serve the community. With modern treatment methods and state-of-the-art technology, they are dedicated to providing exemplary care to patients of all ages. Our compassionate team consistently receives training above and beyond the standard of care. We're changing the way you see dentistry. Come be a part of our dental family. Overhead Door, a garage door company that has been with your family from the beginning. Through all the ups and downs of life. From the small repairs to making your vision a reality. Overhead Door, your trusted garage door expert since 1921. Be sure you're getting the genuine, the original overhead door service. Call Overhead Door Company of North Arkansas today in Mountain Home. At <laughs> Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. We're visiting with Coach Spencer Adcock, the athletic director and head baseball coach of our very own Arkansas State uh, uh, Mountain Home University. And so the Trailblazers have won seven of the last nine. That's right. And you guys just had the Juco Jamboree at Cooper Park where you came out three out of four. It looks like you had 11 doubles and eight home runs during, during I think, a couple days or a couple games. I can't yeah, over, I, that was over four games. We played North Arkansas College twice. Um, we beat them, beat them once, and they beat us once. They, uh, we, we had a chance to walk them off in the bottom of the seventh and, um, and fell up a little bit short. <clears throat> and, uh, but we, we split with North Ark, and we beat East Central Missouri. Um, East Central College in Missouri. Um, we we beat them, but in, in both the games we played them. Yeah, we had a uh, eleven doubles and and I think I think it was eight home runs. Yeah, um, that's cool. I think Brett Burris had had three home runs. Alex Harrell had two home runs. I mean, it was a it's a fun weekend. Definitely, you know, we're. Uh, you like to come out with a weekend of wins, right? <laughs> that's for sure, right? And you all did. Yeah, you know, that's very good. The uh, the recruiting of uh, ASU MH, you are going all over the place. I mean, you're getting kids from other countries too, uh, other uh, other states. How is that going? It's go it's going good. Um, you know, right now we're we're hitting the uh, we're hitting the the 2023 class, um, and honestly, we're just about finished. I mean, we're pretty well finished up with the 2023 class. Um, you know, so if we're we're looking for the ones that you know we're looking we're looking for some extras right now, but yeah. but real soon we're about to start going after twenty twenty fours. You know, guys yeah. that are guys and girls that are juniors right now. Um, you know the um, you know we as a baseball team we like to be around between that four you know that thirty seven to forty forty five mark. Okay, um, it, that's what it. It take it, it just takes that to get through a season. It takes that to get through a fall. You know, I mean, we've got to inner squad. We've got to scrimmage each other. We've got to travel yeah. in the fall. We've got to, you know, we've got to play in the fall. We've got to play in the spring. There's a, you know, we play a 56 game schedule. You know, you you start adding in, and you know, it it takes it takes nine, ten, you know, nine pitchers to to get through a season. And, nine pitchers. <clears throat> well, I mean. It takes nine good ones, and, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you've got three or four that you get. You're going to have to have a buffer of three or four. So you're you're hoping that you make it to spring with twelve. Then you've got your nine position players, but you've got to have a backup at most of those positions. Yeah. So 
it's really easy to get to 28, 29 really fast. Yeah. And then, you know, you've got to have enough in this, and you've got to have enough to be able to scrimmage each other. And then, mm-hmm. you know, but you've also got to, you know, you've got to bring in kids, you know, we, you've got to bring in those kids that are good enough to help you get better and good enough to help you. And that way, you know, if a kid get if a kid gets hurt, you know that the that backup's got to be able to step right in. Yeah. You know, and yeah. and you know the the whether it's a starter or a backup, they all came here for the same reason. They all came here to go to graduate here and go to another school. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it's a the dichotomy of it's pretty. You know, it's it's pretty intense and and you know making sure that these guys get the time that they need they get mm-hmm. the love that they need they get the you know and you know you know how it is these, these oh, yeah. guys are these guys are 18 to 23 years old and, yeah. and uh it's competition and and um and you know and it's it's uh for us personally as a baseball team you know we're recruiting we're trying to recruit the most competitive guys we can get the yeah. guys that don't want to see somebody else starting in front of them stuff like that and so you know that's the that's where we're at. Um, you know we're always look, we're always looking for new players. Um, you've got to be because yeah. you've got them for two years and yeah. then they graduate and like you said they move on. Yeah. So it's not uh, you have them for four, so you've got a little bit of time to recruit. You yeah. you're recruiting every year. Every year. Yeah. Every year. Every day. Um, you know I th- I think if uh, if people fall if people followed coaches home and. Or even, or just talk to their wives. My wife probably didn't know. Uh, I, I say that my my wife and I met when I was when I was a head coach. So it, so she she had a pretty good idea. But <laughs> I mean, I, my wife gives up so much of her time just for me being on the phone with recruits. Yeah. Just for me being on the phone with parents. Yeah. Yeah. Of recruits and and other coaches and what have you and trying to get our guys that are here currently recruited out. I mean, that alone is probably six, probably six hours a day. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, it's in the morning like, when I leave here, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be 20 text messages, you know, trying, you know, saying hi to recruits and talking to recruits. And then it's going to be setting up phone calls for later and talking to high school coaches and college coaches later. And, and so it's a never ending story. It's a never, Never ending cycle of, I mean, it's just constant. Yeah. Um, you know, the advice I'd give high school kids is if you're, if you're wanting to go to college to play any sport, not just baseball and like any sport, baseball, softball, wrestling, anything, don't be afraid to reach out yes. and continue to reach out. Exactly. Like, you know, my phone right now, I left, I, I left it in the truck, but it's got, it's got probably 300 text messages on it unread right now. It's, there's probably 50 voicemails on it unread right now. Yeah. And that's over the past, just over the past 12 hours. And that's, you know, and it's coaches have to go, coaches have to go through. I mean, I mean, people don't realize how. It's <laughs> a lot. I, and I don't, I try not to advertise my phone number yeah. a whole lot. And, yeah. and everybody has it. Yeah. And so, which, which I don't complain about. I mean, yeah. that's part of building a, a successful program so but i mean don't be afraid as a as a high school senior junior to to reach out and you know and don't be offended if don't be offended if you don't get a response you right. know and stay on stay on top of coaches and stuff like that it's not the way a lot of kids and parents might see it where we just have to go out there and beg for kids i mean we found we we found 40 40 kids and put up a very competitive team Definitely. for a first year program in 11 days. Yeah. You know, and it, when you think about it in that ten, in, in, in that that perspective, it's you know, it's re- actually really easy to go find kids. Um, you know, what what we're looking for got we're we're looking for for guys that want to be trailblazers. We're looking for the girls that want to be trailblazers that want to be in Mountain Home. Yeah. That, you know, they're not just looking for that opportunity. They're looking for the opportunity to use this as a platform to go to go to go somewhere else. Right. Um, you know, we've got a questionnaire on our website, on our athletics, uh, and on, on on our athletics website, and you can get to that through our ASU um, our ASU Mountain Home website. Um, but other than that, I mean, Twitter, Facebook, 
you know, find find the coach's email and find them, you know, if you're interested in baseball, you know, shoot me an email. Mm-hmm. Um, now, it may be a couple – it may be a week or two or three or a month before I get back to you, but – but um, I'll promise you this much: if I see that same email coming through multiple times, that says that that says a lot more. Definitely, um, not that you know, just one and done it. Yeah, yeah I mean, because uh, you know what what normally happens is we'll get a blanket email of that has been sent to four hundred different people, and they're just waiting for somebody to text them back or email yeah. them back. Well, we want we want the guys and girls that really want to be trailblazers. Yeah, so. I can understand that completely. Uh, there was a, I'll just say this, we had to take another break. My daughter, when she was trying to get an athletic scholarship, she was trying to figure out where she was going to go. She got in one of them online portals where yeah. you put yourself out there. You can put up videos yep. of, yeah, yeah. So you, you go to yes um, to that? I mean. I can't remember the site. Well, I think there's there, probably multiple. There's field level in CSA. Oh. There's all kinds of, all kinds of them. My advice would be don't pay money right, out, right away. Like. Don't spend I, – if you're trying to get recruited, don't spend money until you in, until you talk to some coaches. Okay. You know, find a, find a high school coach, you know, and, and ask your high school coach. And if, if they don't know, they'll know somebody who does. True. You mm-hmm. know, and my best advice is do not spend money until you know that you need to spend money. Um, you know, there's – that. The, usually the difference between spending money and not spending money is in spending money, you've got somebody out there making the phone phone calls for you. Yeah. Um, and yeah. that's something you can do on your own. Okay. We're going to go and take another break, and we'll come back with more for, from Coach Spencer Adcock. At Letty's Mexican Restaurant, we are here to keep you safe during these difficult times, as well as serve you the best Mexican food in the area. That's why... We've installed a convenient pickup window for all your to-go and pickup orders, as well as a covered outdoor seating area. Give us a call at 870-435-2532 to order your next meal. And don't forget, Letty's also provides catering for small parties or big events. Experience the best in Mexican cuisine. Letty's in Gasville. Close to Lake Norfolk and a short journey to Jordan County Line Liquor is your destination for all your refreshment needs. They offer the widest variety of all your wines, beers, and liquors with the cleanest atmosphere and the largest selection in the area. Not sure what to get? Ask Jordan County Line Liquor's friendly and knowledgeable staff for an expert recommendation you can't go wrong with. Also, don't forget about the Smoker's Den for all your smoking and accessory needs. That's Jordan County Line Liquor, close to Lake Norfolk, located on Highway 177 in Jordan, Arkansas. You know, Harry, I think you were right. I hate to say it. Are you talking to me? Yes, I think it is finally time for us to move out of this place. Someplace closer to the churches, doctors, someplace you don't have to mow a huge yard. It's time we downsize. No, I've seen that hottest hotshot agent guy. He's got himself a bunch of listings. Well, I talked to Grace and she had some wonderful things to say about the Z team. Oh yeah, we've heard them on the radio. You know, I checked out the website at retiredarkansas.net the other day. Didn't really look like they had a lot of listings. They don't have a lot of listings because they sell them. Well, maybe it's time for us to call the Z Team. You know, Marge, I think maybe this time you were right. Well, you're the first time for everything. Call the Z Team, Century 21 Lee Mac Realty, 1024 Highway 62 East Mountain Home. 870-405-0793. Hi. Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. You can't get me, I get you. <laughs> We're visiting with Coach Spencer Adcock. He's the athletic director and head baseball coach at ASU Mountain Home. And uh, you wanted to say uh, a few words about our chancellor, Robin Myers. He's going to be retiring. Yeah, I mean, I can't think I, I can't think Dr. Myers enough. I mean, he's he um, we wouldn't be here had he not had he not taken a chance on me. Yeah. Um, you know, and my family, and and um, and I mean, I, he's just he's been instrumental into the success of this of 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 this athletic program so far, and you know, and and credit to him for having the courage to do it and jump yep. in and make it happen. And I mean, I just I can't I can't thank him enough. I mean, he's he's been you know the, none of this could have happened without him. Yeah. Um, 
you know, and you know, I, I love coming out here and talking about it and stuff. But at, but but he's he's really the fuel behind it, and, right? And um and and he's just, I mean, he's one of the most compassionate men I've ever met. One of the most, you know, seems to be I, the nicest the person nicest you've ever per, met. Like, I mean, his he's, demeanor, he's yeah, always, he's, yeah, he, he's just the he's Robin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's just, you know, he. He's the nicest guy I've ever been around. Right. I mean, I so there's no other way to put it. If you've ever met Robin Myers, the guy is just so nice to everybody. Yeah. And always welcoming. He's always ready to talk to you. Yeah. And so I mean, I just again, I mean, I can't thank him enough. Mm-hmm. Um, he's you know, and what he's and in my short time of of being at ASU and being in Mountain Home, he is. He's he's moved mountains for us, and he's done all kinds. I mean, he is just, you know, that has supported us. You know, he's supported us. You know, even emotionally getting this thing off. And, yeah. You know, if it, you know, because it's this isn't an easy process. You know, you're you're talking about a you're talking about a program that really you know has a lot of moving parts. Yeah. Um, and doing that in the time that we did, it just it couldn't have happened without Dr. Myers. And I just really wanted to say thank you to him and and. Definitely gonna miss. Definitely gonna miss him. And um, I know, right? It's the first year, <laughs> and now, and now you're <laughs> now he's retiring, and you'll have a new chancellor, right? Uh, so they, I guess they've got that uh, underway. Yep. Uh, looking for a new chancellor. Hopefully, they're. I'm sure they'll find somebody great. Right. I mean, they did. Hopefully, they love sports as much as he does. I know, right? <laughs> And, uh, I mean, our, our first chancellor, uh, and I'm blanking. Ed Coulter. Ed Coulter, thank you. I can't believe I forgot that. Uh, but Ed Coulter did great things. At ASU is, is where they're at right now because of him and, and the other people that work there, too. Uh, then they, uh, Dr. Robin Myers came in and just continued that trend of improving ASU Mountain Home. And, like I said, he got sports off and running. And now he's going to leave, so thanks. <laughs> but, no, we do appreciate everything that he's done. Uh, we wish him well on his retirement. I mean, one day we'll be doing the same, and, right. and hopefully people will be thanking us for the stuff that we did, right. you know. So uh, we do appreciate him for that. And we appreciate you. That's, I mean, you're the athletic director, but also the head baseball coach. And it's not just uh, baseball, it's softball. you got bass fishing, eSports, gaming, track, cross country. I'm sure as the years go by, you'll be adding more, and it's uh, it's quite the athletic program that you've got started in this first year, and you're doing real well. The game, you're winning games, and that's that's what the people want to see. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we hope that your recruiting goes well. It sounds very time-consuming, six-hour days. Uh, I can see how that would roll into your nights with your we, wife. Uh, we, you know, something a a, co- a coach asked me or implored me to do years ago was to to do a timesheet so every every time i do anything with coaching and um you know and it it was really to show your you know to 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 be able to let you know how much time you're spending away from your family yeah and and stuff like that because you got to balance it and i mean there's been times that that gets 86 87 90 hours in a week where you're doing something for the program and doing something, you know, and I mean, these kids alone, think about these kids alone. If they wake up and come in to, let's say we have, let's, let's say we have 6 a.m. waits that mm-hmm. goes from 6 to 8, 8, 39. Then they've got class from 9 to noon or 9 to 1. And they've got practice from 2 to 6. And then they get out of practice. They've got study hall from 7 to 8, 30 or 9. That's five days a week, and then they play Saturday and Sunday or Friday and Saturday. Yeah. And then, you know, they've got 56 games in the spring, and then, you know, on top of that, they've got all the – they've got 15 hours worth of, you know, worth worth of course load each yeah. week. You know, the, these kids are easily putting in 60-plus hours a week. Definitely. Easily. Oh, yeah. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. Kirsten was when she was playing at Williams Baptist, and it, it was a lot. They were doing two-a-day practices yeah. sometimes for soccer. Uh, that's in uh, a school and a job it's you almost can't do the job because the sports side is the job yeah you know you have so much going on so you uh, we got about 10 seconds left so you got uh, four hour practices two to six yeah two to Sometimes. six yeah wow yeah 
That's no, thank usually you. what it is. I'm going to pass. I'm going to let them do that. They're, they're young and sprite and ready to go. We appreciate you coming on. Yep. We'll have you again. Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. And we'll be back tomorrow with Bob Rechtenwald. And you all have yourself a great day. Bring a rain jacket.